Hey, this is Andrew from AJS Woodworks, and this is just gonna be a quick video showing how to put together the heavy-duty miter saw stand from DeWalt, as well as a quick review of the stand. All right, so the first thing that you wanna put on is your link stop and basically a work piece support. So you can work as a link stop, you can put it on the end, you can put the butt end of your work piece up against it to hold it in place, or you can fold this down and it can just hold the middle of your work piece and support it if it's a really long piece. So in order to put this on, you basically just loosen up this knob here completely. And so this is nice and loose. And then you're just gonna go over here. And I loosened this up by turning this knob so I can pull this out and access the screw here. And then you're just gonna slide it in. And then if you wanna tighten it down, you would just tighten it down by turning the knob clockwise, and then you have your workpiece support. Now there's another one that you can put on the other side, or you can just keep one on one side. Next, you can put your miter saw mounting brackets on so that you can mount your miter saw. It's really just a heavy duty stand for DeWalt power tools, but this one specifically has the miter saw attachments with it because it came with the miter saw. What you can do is basically, if you just squeeze it like this, it's not going to completely clamp on. You won't be able to get it on. You have to squeeze the handle like that so it has a extra safety so you just squeeze it completely like this and then come over to your stand and it's on there pretty snugly do the same thing with this one and there you go before we attach the miter saw what i'm going to do is extend the legs and stand up the stand on its feet that way you can see it fully extended and then that way we don't have to bend down to attach the miter saw it'll be a lot easier to attach it when it's higher up so in order to extend the legs it's extremely simple you just take one of these plastic handles here squeeze it in and the leg will extend do the same on the other side squeeze it in and it pops into place. All right, so I have this stand fully extended now. I have the link stops installed on both ends, and I have the miter saw mounting brackets installed in the middle. And now all I have to do is connect the miter saw. It comes with a small bag of bolts in order to attach the miter saw, and there's a few different ways that you can do that. All right, so I have my miter saw now on the mounting brackets. So what I did basically to line it up was I had the mounting brackets a little bit closer together initially, but I placed the miter saw on top of the first bracket here and on the other one just to balance it and then lined up the holes on that one and then just lifted that handle to put the saw at an angle and rest it on this one so I could slide this one over to line up the other holes. So you could either do that, which was super simple, or you can measure and place the brackets at the length uh, that would line it up with the holes. But either way will work. And now that I have it lined up, there are a few different options. So for mounting it, it comes with these bolts. So this is a long bolt and this is the short bolt. So mounting options with the short bolt, you can do mounting it with the short bolt going upwards, which would leave the nut on top of the miter saw plate. Or you can do the same with the long bolt, or you can put the long bolt head up with the nut on the inside of the bracket. So I'll probably do the latter just put the head bolt at the top, on top of the miter saw. That way I don't have anything sticking up. It's just a smooth bolt head in my working space. So I'll go ahead and get started installing it and tightening it down and we'll see how sturdy it is. All right, so in order to mount the bolt, you just line up the saw, put the bolt down through the hole, take your washer and your locking washer 
and your nut and then just feed those up through there. And then once you have those fed up on the bolt, then you can just put on the nut. There you go, and then you just tighten that down. Do that on all four sides, get it nice and tight, and then that should be it. All right, I have everything assembled. I just tightened down all four of the corner bolts here, and I just used a hand wrench on the bottom because this is uh, pretty long here and it might push through a socket if it's just a regular size socket. And then I used just a screwdriver on the top to hold it steady and to screw it down. Basically, if you wanted to remove the saw, it's really simple. All you do is pull these handles here and you can lift it off of its base, which I'll show you in a second. And the reason that you want to leave the longer ends of the bolts pointing downward is because that way you have this nice low profile head. So if you want to adjust your saw, it's not going to run into the saw at all with that, the end of that bolt. So that's why I went with having the bolt facing down um, so I can get full range of motion on there. And there you go, it's pretty simple. As far as a review of the stand itself, it all seems to be made pretty well. My specific stand that I got came with these dents in it. I got it at Lowe's, so I don't know if that was just a shipping issue or what, but that's the only gripe that I have about it. It's nice and, nice and sturdy. It does shake a little bit from end to end, but it doesn't rock this way and that way. As far as build quality though, it's made out of aluminum and it seems to be made really well. No sharp edges that I've noticed except for maybe on the inside here, but you shouldn't really be having to worry about that. So some of the features, uh, use this little handle here to lock and unlock. Once you lock it, this extension will stay in place. You can unlock it and extend it out. It extends out pretty far. And that's just for support if you have a really long board or something. Same thing on this side. It extends out. And you can lock it in place. And then, like I said earlier, you have these supports as well, which is pretty handy. If you have something that you want at the height of your miter saw, just take this little handle here, knob here, lift that up to the height, and then lock it in place with those same knobs. So as far as removing the saw, once it's mounted to the mounting brackets, you just take these handles, So you can see it's a little bit awkward. I would suggest if you really wanted to be able to use the handles here on the sides, it may be helpful to take these carrying handles off, or what you can do is mount the saw a little bit further back on the mounting bracket. That way when you squeeze the handle, you don't have this bar here in the way, because I was running into the issue of trying to squeeze that with that bar there, so. All right, so that was just a quick tutorial on how to assemble the DeWalt Heavy Duty Miter Saw Stand, and also just a quick review of the build quality. It's really a handy little stand to mount your tool to. It seems to be made pretty well, and I look forward to seeing how stable it is once I actually start cutting, but right now it seems pretty stable. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. This stand runs for about $100. You can get it at Lowe's for sure, probably other places as well. But if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And thanks for watching.